Let's look at the electricity formula for power. Power is equal to energy divided by time. What power is, is the rate of doing work. Meaning if I have a light bulb that's 100 watts, that means how fast is it doing work or using up energy? It, 100 watts would be 100 joules every second. Joules and seconds. So power is how fast you're doing your work. Uh, if I had a 60 watt bulb, that means it's using less energy every second. So here's the formula, and I put it in the shape of a triangle, the way we did some of the other formulas, so it's easy to use. Power is energy divided by time. Energy is power times time. Time is energy divided by power. The power is in watts, the energy is in joules, and the time must be in seconds. So let's try, find the power of a bulb that uses 4.8 kilojoules in two minutes. Got to write down my givens. I'm given that um, the energy, is 4.8 kilojoules and the time is two minutes. And you always should check your units. This is not the correct units. I need it in joules. So kilojoules is like turning kilometers to meters or kilograms to grams. Kilojoules to joules, I have to multiply by a thousand. So times 1,000 equals 4,800 joules. What about the time? The time's supposed to be in seconds, and I've got it in minutes. To turn minutes into seconds, I multiply by 60. 60 times 2 is 120 seconds. I've got my energy, it's in the correct units. I've got my time in the correct units. Find the power. I look at the formula. Power is energy divided by time. So that is 4,800 divided by 120. The power is 40 watts. Simple formula to use, one of the last electricity formulas we have. Let's go on and do the last few and then we're finished electricity. I thought I should also add these two formulas to our list. You've seen the other power formula and how it works and if you've watched the other videos you see basically uh, when it comes to electricity you need to know what the variables mean and what their units are and you simply pull out the things you need and figure out which formula to use and plug it in. So there are two more formulas for power that you may or may not use. But these are two that you can add to the list of the ones uh, for the videos. And in these ones, we got P is power in watts, B is potential difference in volts, R is resistance in ohms, and I is current in amperes. So here's two more uh, formulas for power, but I'm not going to do a sample problem because I think basically they're fairly straightforward.